just wanted to see how your class was going. Where is everybody? There is no class. Did you send everyone to the principal's office already? <laughs> no one signed up. Well, that's not your fault. I called the department secretary to see what happened. Apparently, I have a reputation for being obnoxious. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, Sheldon, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Now I can devote all my time to dark matter. Oh, you bought cookies for everyone? Oh, yes, Fig Newtons. I was going to ask them which scientist both helped to develop calculus and had a famous cookie named after him. And then after someone said Newton, I was going to tell them they're wrong. <laughs> the cookies are named after a town in Massachusetts. <laughs> and then I'd throw the cookies away. <laughs> hey, what if I took your class? Why would you do that? Yeah, yeah why what's would you wrong do that? with you? <laughs> Thinking about getting my doctorate and he wants to teach? Why not? Yo, Howard, look, I appreciate the gesture, but this is a graduate level physics class. <laughs> I don't think you'd understand a single thing I was talking about. Ask why not again, I've got an answer. <laughs> Sheldon, I'm more than smart enough to take your class. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. How would you determine the ground state of a quantum system with no exact solution? I would guess a wave function and then vary its parameters until I found the lowest energy solution. Hmm. <laughs> Do you know how to integrate x squared times e to the minus x without looking it up? I'd use Feynman's trick, differentiate under the integral sign. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is the correct interpretation of quantum mechanics? Since every interpretation gives exactly the same answer to every measurement, they are all equally correct. However, I know you believe in the many worlds interpretation, so I'll say that. Now, do you think I'm smart enough? <laughs> no. <laughs> school for a couple more years than me, but guess what? Engineers are just as smart as physicists. <gasps> you take that back. <laughs> no. Hey. D okay. Now that everyone's here, we can begin. <laughs> Before we do, I just talked to Leonard, and... <laughs> If you're going to spend all your time trying to belittle me by making this class unnecessarily hard, then I'm out. But I mean, if you're interested in making a sincere effort to be a good teacher, then I'm willing to give this a shot. I suppose that's a fair request. There's no reason we both can't benefit from this experience. Okay. okay. Well, then, uh, first things first. Um, are you familiar with the brachistochrone problem? I am. Good. And how it relates to the calculus of variations? It's an inverted cycloid. It, wonderful. Now, uh, what about Euler-Lagrange theorems? That's where I'm a little fuzzy. Ha! I knew it! All right. Yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of information to cover before your first test, which, by the way, is in eight minutes. <laughs> the good news is I'm grading on a curve, so you're pretty much guaranteed to see. <laughs> What are you doing? Everybody's hands go up, and they say that. What are you doing? If you're going to be a crappy teacher, then I'm going to be a crappy student. Oh, oh, Ludacris going in on the verse because I've never been defeated and I won't stop now. Yeah, wait, no, stop it. This is a classroom. This is not American Bandstand. Okay. Now, where was I? Let's see. Oh, yes, over here. You... What are you doing now? Making a straw. Why? So I can shoot you with a spitball. You're not going to do that, and I'll tell you why. This is an institution of higher learning. I am your professor, and you're going to treat me with the proper... Oh. <laughs> you shot your spit in my mouth! Is that going to be on the test? Because I don't think I can do that again. 